Heroes are an inspiring group of people, every one of them from the larger-than-life comic book heroes you see on the big silver screen to the everyday heroes that let us live the privileged lives we do. Every hero has a story to tell. The doctor saving lives at your local hospital, the war veteran down the street who risked his lives for our freedom, the police officers and firefighters who risk their safety to ensure ours. Every hero is special and every story worth telling, but there is one class of heroes that I think is often ignored. The entrepreneur, the creator, the producer, the ones who look at the problems in this world and think to themselves, you know what, I can fix that, I can help people, and I can make a difference. Then they go out and do exactly that by creating a new product or introducing a new service. Some go on to change the world, others make a world of difference to their customers. Welcome to The Hero Show. Join us as we pull back the masks of the world's finest heropreneurs and learn the secrets to their powers, their success, and their influence. So you can use those secrets to attract more sales, make more money, and experience more freedom in your business. I'm your host, Richard Matthews, and we are on in three, two, one. Okay, hey, Richard Matthews here. I am live on the line with Debbie Silver, who is an incredible transformational health, life, and fitness coach. Coach, She's been f featured on Dr. Oz, Fox, Huffington Post, Glamour, Style Magazine. She's even been on the TEDx stage. So Debbie Silver, can you tell us real quick what it is that you do for your clients? Sure. Uh, thanks so much for having me. You know, I've been a transformational health, fitness, lifestyle coaching consultant for over 25 years. And, and during that time, clients ask lots of questions. And the hope is that they're going to ask questions to solve their biggest problems in the area of either health or business or with their, you know, with their relationships. And things like, you know, how do I eat healthy when I have no time? Or how do I work out when I have no time? Or how do I have more energy? Or how do I have some work life? balance or how do I climb the corporate ladder without leaving my family behind? And these are all really good questions, but what I found over the years is these are what I call specialist questions. And they're specialist questions because what they do is they give us very specialized answers. And for someone who's extremely busy, that high achieving entrepreneur or, or corporate executive or busy parent for that matter, there's a there's a challenge that we have with with these kind of questions. They give us this incredible ability to focus. And it's a blessing because when we're focused, we nail it. We get stuff done. The downside is when we focus on one area, very often we're neglecting others. And that's what I see. That's uh, that's incredibly powerful actually. I know, you know, being a entrepreneur myself and I got a wife and kids I know, uh, you know, I, I've, I've said this before is, you know, and my wife says this to me is when you focus on something, you're powerful, but at the same time, you know, I'll, I'll leave things behind because I'm, I'm focusing on something else and forgetting the other things. And it's, you know, it's what makes us, it's what makes us high achievers, but at the same time, it, we're not taking in that whole picture of who we are. So my, I guess my question is if the problem that most people are, you know, most people, high achievers are having is that they're focusing on certain things to the detriment of others. Um, what, what is it that people should be doing if they have blocks in their life, right? If they are stuck in their health or if they're stuck in their relationships, if they're stuck in their business, and they just want to hit the next level and break that glass ceiling. What is it that is holding them back? What should they be doing instead? You know, I love what Tony Robbins said. He said, it's, it's the, the, the quality of your questions determine the quality of your answers. And what I see is we're looking for these amazing answers and there's nothing wrong with that. But what I find is it's the, it's, it's the question that's the problem. Because if we're asking a question that's so specific, we really are leaving out other areas of our lives that can totally be tripping us up. And I'm saying this because, you know, that was me. That was me. Uh, it was just back in, in 2008. I was really one of those people looking for these specialist answers. And I, I had a husband and a home and four kids and four dogs in this full-time business as a dietitian and a trainer. And... I started to get sick first with symptoms and I was too busy. I just blew them off and then illnesses and conditions and eventually disease and things got to the point where I lost it all. I couldn't, I couldn't work. I could barely get out of bed. Couldn't raise my kids. It was just, it didn't make any sense. I was focused on that area of health. And I thought like many of us do, if I, if I eat well and exercise, that's enough. And that's, 
That's what I, that's what I was taught. That's just, and that's what I was following. And I was that person also who was going for uh, those, you know, just that information to learn more about health or learn more about fitness. And there are amazing specialists out there or programs or books out there who can help us in those areas. But the problem is, and what I realized was, I was really just focusing on that area, you know, those, those areas. And I took a look at other areas of my life, things like these toxic relationships that I had, or this insane amount of stress, or this mindset that was so polluted with a belief system that totally didn't serve me. Things got so bad. I mean, I, I did. I lost my entire business, had to give it all up, and could barely raise my kids, could barely function. And so here I was, this high achiever, anything but healthy, right? And um, I had nothing to lose. So I didn't experiment. And I said, well, since I had the eating and the exercise part down, what would happen if if I did something with those other areas of life? What would happen if I did something about that level of stress or I did something about those those relationships or I worked on my mindset? And and I did. I cut the ties to the toxic relationships. I learned what stress was doing to me and I learned how to manage it a little bit better. And then I learned how to rewire this mindset that was so filled with fear and anxiety and and anger and worry and stress. And I healed. I started to heal. And I was so intrigued with what was happening that I became a whole health coach and then a functional diagnostic nutritionist so I could test people for stress-related issues and disorders. And now I'm getting a PhD in psychology to really understand the mind. And what I really learned was... Yes, you know, health is focusing on the body and the aspects of the body, but we need way more than this specialist approach. We need more of a holistic approach that takes into account every area of our life. You know, if we're if we're this busy high achiever, a healthy eating plan, if if you're home all day, looks very different than than for someone who travels, who eats out a lot, or who doesn't have a lot of time to prepare. Same thing with fitness. How do you get those same results when you only have 20, 30 minutes a day? You know, how do you create that mindset when your time is limited or when you come from this history of just scarcity or lack? Like, how do you do that? And when I and when I learned what all these strategies were and implemented them, it, the, the changes were profound. I started working again and I started doing some of this, uh, using some of these strategies on my clients. They healed just like I did and they were having these amazing and lasting results. You know, it's funny, I even had, I had two interns working uh, with me a few summers ago and coming out of very prestigious schools and they were blown away because they would see client after client leaving my office, getting off of medications, ridding themselves of these symptoms, having more energy than they ever had more importantly, they were showing up differently. They sounded different. They looked different and they just couldn't understand. You know, my interns just couldn't understand what was, you know, what was going on. And the truth is, before this had happened to me, I couldn't have explained it either. But what I really learned was it takes way more than those very specialized and specific answers. They only lead us down one path, which ultimately isn't going to take us where we want to go. So that, I mean... But it's almost kind of like drinking from a fire hose, hearing your whole story and everything. I, I want to dive in a little bit um, specifically into some of the things that you talked about there just for a minute. Um, you said back in 2008, you you actually hit a had hit this crisis point yourself where, you know, you had been a health coach and you, you said, and I, I just want to repeat this. You said you were a health expert who was anything but healthy. And, oh, yeah. Um, will you dive in a little bit more when you say you had a crisis point. What actually happened? Like, where, where were you? Were you, did you end up in like a hospital bed? Like what, what's going on? Cause I know that's kind of like our, us high achievers. It's like our biggest fear, right? That, that oh. we're not going to be able to keep doing what we do. Like, I love my work. I love my family. I love my kids. I like to travel. I like to do those things. And I know that if I don't keep my health right, and if I don't keep my mindset right, that I could end up in that place. Um, so tell us a little bit more about that problem and how you ended up there. Sure. And, and that's exactly what happened here. I was, so imagine I, I was a dietitian. I had this master's in nutrition. I had been a personal trainer and, and, uh, you know, I should have been the picture of health, 
Um, and I learned so that there were so many other things going on. And it started with things like, um, you know, I was just losing my hair. It was falling out in clumps. I was gaining weight. My skin was breaking out. I had at the same time, chronic fatigue, Epstein-Barr, fibromyalgia. I had bursitis. I had tendinitis. I had such extreme arthritis in my, in my feet. They look fine from the outside. On the inside, I had worn away all my cartilage. I had to have cortisone shots every three months just to, just to walk. I had to walk on the outsides of my feet. I could not bend my toes. Every doctor said it was from running that I had done in the past. And I was thinking to myself, you know, why is it that people can go into their 70s and run? I, I was in my 40s. I mean, this just didn't make any sense. I had Hashimoto's, which is a thyroid disease. It was a laundry list of things that were that were going wrong. Hormonal craziness. We were ruling out all different kinds of cancers. It didn't make any sense. And I didn't like the the traditional path we were going on to find some treatment and to find out what was going on. So I, I looked beyond the traditional treatments. And, and did some radical research and work and work myself and found a very different set of answers. But the set of answers I found, I implemented and it worked. I healed from everything. So the, the, this crisis point that you hit, you mm -hmm. had, you have, you have four kids at home, I know, and you had this mm -hmm. business and you're just at this point with your health that you, you couldn't do any of the things you wanted to do with them. So <laughs> And you realize yeah. that everything you've been trying, right? The conventional solutions, you know, we need to, you know, hire a dietitian or hire a doctor to look at for cancer. And, you know, uh, you said a couple other things too. Like you're, you're just looking at what, what I would look at, what any, you know, normal human being who's been raised here in our American, you know, medical society is, you know, hire, I've got a problem with my feet, hire a podiatrist. You know, I've got a problem with my thyroid, hire a thyroid person and figure mm -hmm. out what is the issue? Why is my thyroid failing? And you found that that was, that was incorrect. Like it wasn't working because you're, you had missed the big picture. I absolutely. And I hired everyone and I, I was looking at solutions in every specific field for every specific symptom that I had. Now here I was, you know, running this business. It was a full-time business. I was getting up at like four in the morning, doing what I had to do, taking care of my kids so I could then work this business and then be the, try to be the mom and the wife that I wanted to be. I was exhausted. I was depleted. You know, I remember, uh, I have a staircase in my house and actually holding on to the railing and pulling myself up. It just felt like I was walking through mud all day. I had such brain fog. I was depressed. It just didn't make any sense. And, and I was eating well and I was exercising. And, and that's, that's what the tip off was because if those things weren't working and, and, and I knew, and it was, it wasn't even like the old school of eating that we were taught. It was, I mean, I had already cut sugar from my diet. I, I was eating whole real nutrient dense foods. I was exercising in a way I, until I just couldn't, cause I didn't have the energy that should have brought me amazing results, but it was all of these other areas that can absolutely take us down. And that's what it did for me. It's this we have this mentality that we get taught on in basically all of our media and our training that health is about your body. Right. And I know you've said that before health is about your body, but it's, it's you, you're saying it's more than that. Oh, it's so much more. Your body is the vehicle that takes you around in this lifetime. And, and it's an important piece because if that vehicle isn't strong, where are you, where is it taking you? It's, it's not going to give you the energy, the vitality. It's not going to allow you to show up powerfully in the way you want to, but by no means is that the whole thing. You know, it's, it's kind of like if you picture a table, a table has four legs. And if you knock out any one of those legs, that table becomes weak and, and unstable. It's the same thing. We have these major pillars that we need to focus on in order to become our personal professional best, in order to look, feel, and live our best. And when we only focus on one of them or two of them, like for me, I was focused on, let's say, body, right? And business and how my business was going to run. 
And I and neglecting areas like my stress, like my relationships, like my mindset, it took me out. It just it just took me out. There is no one area that's more important than another. And they all need our attention. And because we're so good at, okay, this isn't working. Let me focus on this area. We focus and we focus hard. And it's unfortunately, most often it's at the detriment to something else. That was certainly the case with me. So my, my question for you is you, you hit this point with the conventional solutions and trying to get your body to do what it's supposed to do by focusing on your body. Um, mm -hmm. When you decided, you, know, you said you had a tip off point when you realized I'm already doing all the things right with my body and yet I'm still stuck. Mm -hmm. I'm still stuck and it's halted my business and it's halted my relationships and it's halted everything in my life. Were you skeptical when you decided I'm going to... Are you tired of trying to write webinars that don't consistently convert? How would you like to have a webinar that effortlessly created sales in your online business? You can. Introducing the Webinar Alchemy Workshop. Webinar Alchemy Workshop is an online masterclass that will help you write incredibly persuasive webinars for your online courses quickly and easily. Using what you learn in this class, you can build a webinar that educates your entire audience while still creating sales. For a limited time, you can purchase this masterclass for only $7, and you'll get the exact framework I've personally used to help my clients sell more than a million dollars worth of online coaching and training just over the last year. Simply text the word ALCHEMY, A-L-C-H-E-M-Y, to 444-999, and I'll send you all the details. The music is by Purple Planet Music. Visit www.purple-planet.com. Were you skeptical when you decided, I'm going to look at these other areas? Did you think to yourself that, hey, I, I found it, I know what it is, or were you skeptical that first time that you wanted to look into other areas? What was sort of your mindset there? I was very skeptical because I really thought health had nothing more to do. You know, all you needed was to eat well and exercise. And I really thought that's, that was it. So I was extremely skeptical. I mean, I thought, well, what the, what the heck could stress have to do with my health or what could these relationships have to do with how I'm showing up and what are my emotions and what is, what does my belief system have to do with the lifestyle I'm living? And I learned it has everything to do with it. You know, the lifestyle you're leading now has to do with the beliefs you hold. You know, just take a look at your life. It's a complete representation of everything you believe. And I learned that. And I, and I also learned things like, you know, if you're, if, if you have this, this belief system that keeps you sort of safe and stuck and small, your life's going to look just one way. But just because you have these beliefs, we assume they're facts. They're not. They're not. And we don't question them. You know, a, a belief can be questioned. A fact is, you know, gravity, right? Throw something up, it's coming down. But a belief can be, uh, can be looked at. And can be dissolved if it no longer suits you. And I started to look at those beliefs and the things that I thought, I'm so whatever, or I can't whatever, or I'll never. And I started to kind of dismantle them. And, I, and it started with nothing more than, what if that's not true? So that was 2008 when you hit the crisis mm -hmm. point. And then, you know, you had, you, you had been hiring all the specialists and been trying to figure out what's going on with your health. When you started this skeptical try into let, let's look into the other areas of my life and realize that my health is more of a whole picture of my body. How long did it take to go from, I, I can't run my business to, you know, my hair is falling out to mm -hmm. the passionate, excited, powerful woman that you've become today? You know, I would say within a year, most of my symptoms started going away. You know, I remember the the founder of the National Institute of Whole Health who wrote the forward to my first book. She saw this process, trans, you know, just tr she saw me transforming. And one of the first things I did was truly cut the ties to those toxic relationships that I had. Now, that's certainly not for everybody. For me, those relationships were killing me. And I remember her saying, you know what, Deb, when you did that, it was like you traded an anchor for a pair of wings. That was truly the beginning of the most amazing healing. And I'm constantly healing and, and things are constantly evolving. And I think what happens is with high achievers, with high energy people, you know, we take on too much because we can until we can't. And 
it really serves us on some level. But, you know, and I, I look at it like this, it's almost like if you picture a bowl, right? Just imagine here's this bowl. And if 100% of your energy is all you potentially have. So imagine you have 100% of your energy somehow sitting in a bowl. And what I see so many brilliant and talented people is, it's almost like, you know, the, the colander, the bowl with the holes in it. What I see is so many of us walking around like that. And these holes are coming from a mindset that doesn't serve us, not sleeping enough, uh, relationships that really pull us down, not eating well, not exercising well, n not having a support system. And it's almost like we're walking around with leaking all this energy and all we have is 50% left. And I look at these brilliant people and, and I'm amazed and I say, Look what you're able to do at only a 50% capacity. What would happen and how would your life look? How would your business look? How would your relationships look? How would your health look if you plugged up some of those holes? And it that's what we do. You doubled the amount of power that you have, so to speak. So Absolutely. You regained your energy, your health, and your confidence. Can, what did that do to your relationship as a mother or as a wife or with your clients? Yeah. You know, what didn't it do? First of all, my business started taking off because now th there was such a difference between being productive and being busy. I lost that brain fog. I was so much more productive. I was, I was so much more effective. Um, my business was just, you know, business is kind of the highest expression of you and the best expression of you. And I had such, it's like I had a secret and I couldn't share it with enough people. And it was just the kind of thing that it's like, if you go to a great restaurant or you read this great book, you want to share it with everyone, you know, and that's really what happened. And it was, it was a message that really resonated because all of us are trying, all of us want to be our best, but we're, but we're not getting to those levels of success because we're leaving out these other levels, you know, kind of picture whack-a-mole, you know, that, remember that game whack-a-mole, right? You know, you're, you're working on one problem and because you're working on one, another just shows up. But I teach, I teach my clients this more holistic approach. So we really get that whole picture. So my, it really helped my business as a mom. Uh, you know, first of all, I'm very honest with my kids. I mean, they have, they see, they see it all, you know, the ups, the downs, all of it. And they saw me coming back, but coming back stronger and, and wiser and more powerful than ever. And they saw me take chances that I wouldn't have been willing to, even when I was kind of healthy, because I didn't have the confidence in the past. So they saw this strength, this resilience, this, this renewed confidence in me. You know, I saw it in relationships. My husband, you know, I saw it in friends. I saw it in just how I was showing up. I, I was just showing up very differently. A more confident, resilient, empowered version of myself. So what's interesting to me is you learned something in your own life, right? And you mm -hmm. learned how to, to understand that um, I, we, I, we, we want to say the word health because we think of health, but um, what you're saying is our, our life is really, it's powered by our body. It's powered by our mindset. It's powered by... Mm -hmm the, you know, the, the way that we think about ourselves and it's, you know, the, just our lifestyle, you know, or whether or not we're sleeping. I know sometimes I have a problem sleeping. Um, mm -hmm. and it's just, it's a high, high achiever thing. I can't turn my head off. Right. Um, and I know that's common. So when, when you discovered this about your life, you mm -hmm. immediately started taking it back to your clients mm -hmm. and you take that whole, whole picture of, okay, if you want to grow in your business, if you want to grow in your relationships, right? If you want to grow in your health, whatever that is, you know, does that mean, mm -hmm. you know, I, one of the things like I, I mentioned um, when I was talking to you earlier is, you know, I want to have the fitness to go and do things when I'm not working. Like I want to be, mm -hmm. you know, my business is my top priority and it's pretty much going to stay that way. Um, and sometimes I, I realize I'm not keeping my body in shape. So when I'm not working, I still have the fitness to like go on a long hike with my kids or my friends. And I want, I want to be able to keep those things in, in line. So when you took this message to your clients, mm -hmm. what kind of results did you start seeing with them? Because I know before you were teaching health mm -hmm. and health is that limited specialized question, you know, you have a problem with your health, let's fix it to mm -hmm. let's look at the whole picture of who you are 
and mm-hmm. help you break down all the barriers in your life and just I, I I see this picture of like blossoming into the person you could be and how that's going to impact everything. What can you can you tell us some stories of some of the clients and sort of how that change in approach changed the results you were getting for your clients? Oh sure. Well I can tell you personally, I mean here I am, I'm fifty and you know, I have a 20-year-old and 19 and 16 and, and 14, and we have six dogs now. There is no way I could keep up with the demands of my business, of my of my life, if I if I wasn't taking this more holistic approach to life. So so personally, I see what it's done for me with my clients. I've worked with diabetics, they've gotten off of insulin in a matter of four weeks. You know, whether it's heart patients, cancer patients, whether it's just, you know, these these amazing clients I've had who have these incredible hundred plus pound weight losses. But more than that, what I've seen and what my business has truly evolved to is clients used to come in for health. And then they would leave when they their their health goal was achieved or weight loss goal or fitness goal was achieved. And now it's really evolved into some, something so much different. It's almost like health is the entry point. We we take that on first because you can't think straight if you don't feel well. If you're consumed with pain, if you have brain fog, if you're if you if your energy is low. You really, you're not in a position where you can truly look at those other areas of life. So we use health first. So we gain the confidence to break a lifelong sugar addiction, to feel physically better, to, you know, rid themselves of symptoms, get off medications. And then, then they look and they say, okay, well, and and that's when we go for the mindset stuff and the other stuff and say, okay, if you can do that, you had a 40 year sugar addiction, you broke in a week. What else can you do? And that's when we start getting to work with the real stuff. So it's really common for a client to walk in with a health issue and leave with like a new business <laughs> or a new relationship. It, it's, it really is such a natural evolution because they feel better and they're more willing to take a look at other areas of their life that they weren't willing to look at when they weren't feeling well. So if someone is sitting here listening to us chit chat back and forth about this whole whole life experience that you offer to people to help them break down barriers in every area mm-hmm. of their life. Um, what, what kind of things, you know, if, if they're sitting in the chair, li- li- you know, at the other side of our video here watching us, what kind of things, if they're, they're suffering from right now, would you say, if you're suffering from this or this or the other thing, that they should contact you and actually sit down and have a, have a chit chat with you? What kind of, what kind of things would, would be ideal? Okay. We're, you know, we're talking about health and lifestyle mastery here. I mean, this is really this complete holistic picture. This is transformation. So, you know, it could be anything from feeling stuck when what you're doing just isn't giving you the results that you want. And as high achievers, we want results. And if you're not getting that, like for me, every time I put my sneakers on, tennis shoes, depending where you're from, I want to take them off with a better body than before I started. Or what's the point, right? So it's really a question of if what you're doing isn't working, it's time for something new. If you're if if your thoughts are still only bringing you to a certain level of success and you're seeing it in financial success, in relationship success, in how you show up with your kids, in how your business looks, in how your body looks, well, then you know what? It's time for a talk because there's there's no reason. There's no reason why you can't achieve those levels. You know, I usually I have two types of clients. One wants to prevent the life crisis and one who wants to heal from it. And we keep doing what we've been doing until it becomes so painful, so painful that the pain of where we are becomes greater than the fear of the unknown. And that's when we jump and that's when we move through our comfort zone. We'll try something and and we make a little bit of progress but we stay with what's with what's comfortable and familiar even if it stinks and my job is to show you what's not working give you some alternatives that may be very different than what you've heard but i want to take you through that comfort zone you know it, it's kind of like if you remember being a kid and maybe the first time you jumped off or dove off a diving board you were terrified right you didn't want to do it you were going back and forth thinking about it When you finally made that decision, think what happened. Whoever took you to that pool, they couldn't bring you home because you found bliss and it was right past your comfort zone. 
So what I do, yeah, is, is just take clients right through it because that's where life begins. You know, we look at, if you imagine sort of a wellness meter, right? We look like 50% is right here. We strive for 50%. And it kind of looks like this, like, well, if, uh, if I'm off medication, it's okay. If uh, my husband or wife comes home at the end of the day, it's okay. If my kids aren't on drugs, it's okay. If I can button my pants, it's okay. Really? I'm looking at it like, what about this? Here's joy, passion, purpose. Here's living full out. Here's living in a lean, fit, healthy body filled with energy and vitality. Here's a mindset that propels you to be, do, or have more. Here's a lifestyle that supports your growth. Here are relationships that bring you higher. What are you, what are you doing over here? We, we stay here because of a lack of awareness, because of fear, you know, because of doubt. We don't belong here. We belong here. So I want to bring this full circle real quick. We have mm -hmm. started off talking about the specialized questions we ask ourselves as high achievers that get us specialized answers. And then because we're not taking in that whole picture of our being, we get mm -hmm. we don't get the results we want. We end up with that 50% life. Um, and you used a couple of metaphors there, you know, a colander that's working 50% full, your your meter that's 50%. Mm -hmm. we're, we're just operating at less than ideal, which means our results are going to be less than ideal in every mm -hmm. aspect of our life, whether that is, you know, how, how, you know, how high up we can get in the corporate boardroom or how well we're doing with our business or how well we're doing with our kids and our relationships or our wife. Um, or, you know, if you're a female, your husband, I would assume, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, where, where, where we are, we're just operating at that half level. Mm -hmm. So what you're proposing is that, you know, if I was, I was the metaphor that popped into my head was a football game, right? Mm -hmm. You have, you have the people who are, you know, the defense tactician or the offense tactician or something like that. But without a, a head coach, the guy who sees the whole game plan, who sees the master mm -hmm. plan, right? Um, you, those people at the, um, in, that are in the nitty gritty, can't mm -hmm. see the big picture. And in order for me to hit that 100% life, I need to have a master plan. Whether I come up with that master plan myself or if I find someone like you to come in and say, hey, can you help me put together a master plan for my life? That's what really what it is that you're offering someone is to come in and like, let's look at the, let's ask the questions that are going to take everything into account. Abs absolutely. And, and, you know, I just want to be clear, those specialists have amazing answers, amazing answers to, to that one particular question, though. By no means is that the whole enchilada. It's not the whole piece, not the whole picture. Awesome. So if someone is sitting here listening to us and they want to get that master plan, mm -hmm. um, I know uh, below this video, you have a application to actually come on and chit chat with you where they can get together and do a strategy session with you, 35, mm -hmm. 45, maybe an hour, hour long to talk mm -hmm. with you and build that master plan and say, Hey, here's where you are. Here's where you want to be. Let's build a plan to help you get there. Will you t just talk real quick about how those sessions go and what, what type of person would be ideal to actually fill out that application? Sure. And, and it, it really is, it's a session where you will walk away from this session. If we never speak again, you will know exactly what's standing in your way of becoming your physical, mental, and emotional best. You will, I will tell you, based on what you're sharing with me, the blocks, because it's not just based on health. Remember, I'm coming at it from, from health, from mindset, from stress, from, from lifestyle, from all of these disciplines. And I'm looking for the holes. I'm looking for the holes in the life plan. And, and you'll walk away with that. Now, if, if you want to take it further, I can always share with you what that looks like. But the intention is to really find out what is it? Why is it that you may be crushing it in one area? You may be really doing beautifully at the, you know, at the expense of another. And, and we'll be, we'll be real, you know, real clear on that. Now, who is this best for? This is best for someone. My, truly, my best clients are people who have tried it all. I love that because they've tried it all and they are so frustrated and so aggravated and they have this wealth of experience and this amazing knowledge. And then all of a sudden I'm going to come at it from such a different angle 
that they really see, oh, oh, I get it. And they're going to see how I walk them. I just, I hold their hand and walk them through this entire process. Uh, a smart, savvy person, you know, someone who is just eager for results, who doesn't have time. You know, keep in mind, I can only teach from my lens, right? From the lens that, that I'm coming from. I'm a busy working mom. I, I, you know, I, my lifestyle is just that of someone who doesn't have the time. So whatever I do, it's got to work and it's got to be easy. I travel all the time, you know, so, and and there were so many things on my plate and I don't want to take any of them off because I love them all. So how can I make it work for that person who doesn't have a lot of time, but wants results. So that, that it, it's really that type of person. Um, and it, but it is, it's that person who, who doesn't, who doesn't want to sit in self-pity. We're going to use your story only to find out what you've been doing to create a plan to take you somewhere else. Um, but, but I am, I, I, you know, I have to be honest, I'm not for that person who just wants to sit and talk about it. We'll talk, but only to find out what we can do. So, if you're someone like yourself or like me, who's a high achiever, and mm -hmm. we're looking, you know, my business is my top priority, my family's top priority, and I know my health is a priority, but sometimes it sits on the sidelines and goes, I'll get to that when I have time for it. Um, mm -hmm. And then that's that's really the, the person that you're looking for, someone who who is who who has got something they're trying to accomplish in life. And if they could get their health and their fitness and their life and everything put together, they can have a bigger impact. Something's, yeah, something's not working for them. They're, um, like I said, I mean, they may be doing beautifully in business or they may be doing great as far as their health, but there's a gnawing, there's an, un, there's a, there's an unease. There's, there's a, a lack of fulfillment. There's, there's a lack of joy. Something, something in all of the things that they're doing isn't hitting the mark. It's just not, it's not bringing them to that level where they say, I can't believe I get to live this life, you know, um, and, or, or it is their health or whatever it is. There's something there's, it's their health. It's their mindset. It's their level of stress. It's their relationships. It's their lifestyle. It's their business. Something isn't at that level that they deserve. Absolutely. So if that, any of that describes you, there is a button below the video here that you can actually fill out an application and get on the calendar to talk with Debbie and, um, I would absolutely take the time to do that. I know, Debbie, you are an incredible woman, and it's been really interesting to get to know you and to hear your story. Um, so thank you for coming on and doing this interview with me. And is there anything else you'd like to say before we uh, we finish this up? Oh, you know what? And thank you so much. And, and I would just really say, you know, every single person who's watching this has a unique strength, gift, talent, calling. There is something you do that no one on the planet does like you. But it, you can't do it if you have these other things in your way. And all it takes is finding out what these blocks are, getting some simple strategies around it, and show up and, and look, feel, and perform the way you're meant to do. You, if, you've, if you've watched this long, I'm speaking to you. So uh, learn the strategies to get that stuff out of your way and, and, and do, do what you're here to do boldly and powerfully. Awesome. And that strategy session is free. So just go ahead and hit the button below the video and get on the phone with Debbie. I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. I would. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Talk to you soon, Debbie.